It looks like I'm doing a porn shoot. Last summer, I lived in my car for a month, free camping around the U.S. Northwest. This is everything I brought with me in terms of clothes and toiletries. So let's go through it and see what worked and what didn't work. So first I have my hiking shoes. These are my Ultra Lone Peak 3.5s. They're cross trainers. Bought them a few years ago for a really big hiking trip and have the super feet inserts inside them. These are my Havianets, whoops, flip flops. I brought these mainly for using in disgusting showers. Sadly, I did not have these the day I had to go into an actual disgusting, most disgusting shower I've ever seen in my life. So I missed them, but I would bring them again because they're perfect for skanky showers. These are my street sandals and I love these. I wore these all the time. They are comfortable. They have this sort of cork sole. They have kind of a skinny strap, which is nice. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. I guess my only complaint is that they have this little toe insert, which is fine, except when you want to wear socks in camp. If it's cold at night, you can't really wear socks with these. So I might look for something like these without the toe insert. That would be ideal, but love the color, love everything else about them, wore them all the time. Now these are my Blowfish, my Blowfish street sneakers, and I love these things. I wore them all the time. They don't have a lot of arch support, so that's their one drawback, but other than that, they go with everything. Shorts, dresses, pants, whatever, and they slip on and off. I hate tying shoelaces, so these were fantastic, and I would bring them again in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat, not a heartbeat. This is a sarong and I actually didn't use it once on my 30 day trip, but I would bring this again in a heartbeat as well because it's a dress, it's a skirt, it's a curtain, it's a towel, it's so many different things and you can use it in a pinch and definitely, definitely liked having it with me just in case. When I started my trip, this bag here actually held all my clothes. Everything that was in here, and everything in here was all rolled up very tightly and neatly. My back seat broke, it no longer pulled down. And so to deal with that, I went to Walmart and I bought a bunch of these packing cubes. And what I would do is basically reach into the back of the car to grab each of these cubes and pull them out as I needed them. So we're gonna pull all this stuff out and look at it in just a minute, but let me show you the rest of what's going on here. Okay, so this is basically the laundry. Oh my God, I can't believe I still had laundry in there after Okay, a month. just keeping it real with you guys. Actually, I've been home for over a month and I really need some clean underwear, so it's time to finally make this video. And these are my hats. I probably brought way too many hats and these are cute, but these two in particular did not actually protect me that much from the sun. I ended up buying this one. It was only 15 bucks and it was like SPF 50 or something like that. And it goes with everything. So that was good. And then this is my hiking hat. Um, it probably needs to be washed, but this was a really good hat that I would bring again. And this is like a little warm hat that I brought. It's fleece and it collapses on itself so it stores easily and it's got this cute little flower detail on the back. A really dear friend gave this to me and I've had it forever. Uh, not your usual ski cap, a little bit lighter, really great for summer. So I would bring that again. All right, before we lay out all the clothes, let's talk about the outer layers. So this is this fantastic spider fleece lined jacket that it was actually sold at Costco. I wear it all the time and I love that it has kind of this sweater detail to it. It can be sporty, but it can also be a little bit dressy and I love that flexibility. This is my Mountain Hardware Whisper Light jacket. Oh my God, I love this thing. I take it backpacking. It weighs almost nothing and it smooshes up into nothing. It's actually a $300 jacket that I got on sale for a hundred bucks at Sierra Trading Outpost, which is a great place to look for discount outdoor wear. Love it. This basket was uh, a layer that I put on top of the organizing basket that was on the one side of the trunk. So this is flexible, it fit perfectly, it went with my aesthetic, which is very important. This was great, I could, I could pull it out, I could shove it in. It was a great layer. Anyway, 
This is my fuzzy pullover sweater that was great for sleeping on cold nights, a quick layer in camp if I needed one, soft and comfortable. I got it at Marshall's like years ago and I just love it. You can dress it up or dress it down. So that's always good. Okay, this is really wrinkly. It's just one of those pullover sweaters. It doesn't really have a lot of detail. It's very simple. It's another thing I got at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or whatever, but it was great because it was good for going in a town. So, you know, whenever you had to look more like a tourist and less like a camping car dweller, this kind of pullover was great and I would bring it again. And then last, I have my raincoat from the North Face. Very lightweight, good quality raincoat. Didn't have to use it once, but I would bring it again for sure because when it rains, you need a raincoat. Okay, these are all the short sleeve shirts and camis plus one long sleeve um, shirt that I'll talk about in a minute. So these two camis, cotton, they were fantastic. Uh, I probably could have brought one more. They're just a great base layer for when it's hot. Uh, all of these little shirts, they are meant to kind of go together. They were lightweight and comfy and varied enough that I didn't get super bored with my wardrobe. Good mix and match stuff. And then this sun shirt here, I love it. This is my Columbia hiking shirt. I have a bunch of these, but I just brought the one to kind of use to pull over whenever I needed to protect myself from the sun. And I wish I could find something similar with a zip up because I like the zip up look better, but I can't seem to find a zip up where the collar actually stays up. Okay, so these are the three long sleeve shirts that I brought, all complimentary colors. Love them, wore them all on chilly nights. And the one in the back is sort of an open, loose necked cardigan that's t-shirt weight. And I also use that as a layer, especially with the camis and this was great for again when you need to go to town and look like a tourist instead of a homeless person and yeah these are all really wrinkled because they've been packed up for more than a month but um, loved all four of these items and finally we get to the bottoms the pajamas and the little black dress first of all let's talk about these stretch pants with the little phone pockets on both sides these were fabulous i absolutely wore these two the most of all because it was so hot and uh, this one also these stretch pants also have the phone pocket and boy that phone pocket is awesome and this one here this black one is um i haven't washed it yet but it's it's a fleecy layer inside so these are good for when it's cold and I did use them but I did miss the pockets when I was using those. Um, I also brought some jean shorts which I wore sometimes and some jeans which maybe I wore gosh only a couple times because most of the time it was too hot for it and then I brought this little black dress which I only wore once or twice but it was great for laundry day um, or for going into town into a nice restaurant and looking like you belong there instead of you know you just crawled out of your tent so I would bring all of that again uh, in a heartbeat even the jeans because they did come in handy. And then the pajamas, uh, this is just a really lightweight, comfortable, soft cami. And this is just a very lightweight, long sleeve shirt, um, which is good for covering your arms when it's chilly at night. So these lounge pants were so incredibly valuable. Not only could I sleep in them, I could also wear them around camp. And when I got that horrible uh, heat rash at the music festival, the only thing I could stand to wear on the rash were loose, lightweight pants and so these were perfect for that and I loved them so much that I actually had my husband bring me another pair that I had from home so again it's just very loose um, flowy loungy pants that are super comfortable to wear on hot days and they keep your legs out of the sun if you're having an issue with sunburn I would actually think about finding some cargo pants because cargo pants with all the pockets are so useful when you're living out of your car, when you're camping. I kind of found myself wishing for more pockets sometimes. The only thing is I don't like the look of cargo pants. They're so baggy and bulky and you know, I'm still a little bit vain and I don't know, maybe if I found some skinnier ones, but not too tight, they have to be soft, but not so soft that you can't put stuff in the pockets. I mean, I need the perfect cargo pant. I actually did find the perfect cargo pant later on at Costco, and here's what they look like. 
finally I can wash this stuff. Oh my God. There you go, little dress, be clean. Last but not least, we have the Eagle Creek Cube, the Eagle Creep Cube, do over. We have the Eagle Creek Cube of socks, underwear, all that sort of thing. So I'm not gonna pull it all out because it's just kind of a hot mess, but um, we're talking a bralette. Uh, we're talking a lot of socks. I brought two weeks worth of underwear because I did not want to run out, which I didn't. I have some gloves for staying warm in camp. I have a buff, a lightweight buff, and I have like a headband. I didn't really use those, but I would bring them again because they are useful when it gets a little bit colder. Serious hiking socks, my Vermont um, Darn Tough socks, and then some other shorter, warmer socks as well. And what else? Oh, I had a swimsuit in here that I actually never use, which was a tragedy because I later realized, oh, there's hot springs. There were so many hot springs I could have gone to but didn't like plan for or allow time. Ideally, I am looking for the ultimate underwear that you can sleep in, swim in, and just wear. So I'm talking matching bra and panties, something with a little padding for us lighter weight women. But yeah, something that you can do all three activities in comfortably and if I could find that underwear, that would just be the holy grail of travel underwear. So if you guys know of something that looks like a swimsuit, super comfortable to sleep in, very plain, a little bit of padding, uh, let me know because I am on the hunt for the perfect adventure underwear. Oh, peeper keepers too, because you never know when you're gonna need more of those. Uh, if there's something I forgot or didn't think of, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Next time, I'm gonna show you what's in my minimalist camping toiletries bag. This is before coffee, and this is after coffee.